Hello everyone, many of you have asked if we can show the default programs uh, running on the um, Android update 6.0.1 uh, This includes all Samsung related programs that you get uh, pre-installed on your uh, smartphone but also um, apps such as phone, messages, contacts, camera, these kind of default things you get in every phone. So I'll go ahead and start with the phone function and all these here at the bottom of my screen. Uh, I'll just have to tell you that uh, many of them I have used um, uh, a lot of times, but uh, some of them, like the Samsung ones uh, that are here, uh, S Voice, S Planner, S Health, I haven't used that much. So I'll go ahead <coughs> and look through them as uh, any new user would do. So bear with me while I do that. So this is phone. <coughs> here you can see all my contacts. As usually you get your phone log, your favorites and your contacts here. You can create uh, contacts from here. You can delete, speed dial and you can do a bunch of things from here and you have settings. In settings, here is what you get. I think it's similar to what you've got in the previous Android updates. So you have call blocking, answering and ending calls, call alerts, and you have more settings. We'll go ahead and see what's in more settings. So obviously you can set this up as well. Call forwarding, barring, waiting and fixed dialing numbers. That's quite cool. You can um, customize your phone as much as you want. Um, you can have video calls, so you can hide your video service provider and all that kind of stuff, voicemail settings and vibration, uh, you can control them from here. You can create a new, uh, that's obviously my emails here, I can create a new uh, contact from here. You can set up a picture, you can select a name. Let's see from the drop down menu what do you have here. First name, middle name, last name, name suffix. Think that's similar to what you've got before. I don't think there's much change here to be honest. Phone number, email, obviously you cannot stuff from here and you can remove it as well. Uh, you can assign uh, people to groups and also you can scan a business card. That's interesting. I haven't used that before. You need to install Snap this card. You'll be taken to Samsung Galaxy apps, download and stuff. Okay, that's cool. Somebody um, might be able to tell me more if they know more about it, I don't really know. So these are my my contacts. I don't really want to concentrate on that because there's uh, personal information here. I'll show you here the dial. Also, you can uh, do video calls from here. You can hide the path from there and you can show it again here as well. So that's the phone app. There's uh, not much difference, to be honest. Uh, I don't think there is a lot of changes here. So let me know if you want me to go and show you more stuff in the phone app, uh, if you're interested. So the other thing uh, that it comes by default is the messaging um, app. It's still in orange. Somebody was asking if it's still in orange uh, here. It's pretty much the same, to be honest. Again, you can choose a contact. Um, you can enter a message. You can attach uh, something. You can attach an image, video, audio. That's all the features you've got. You have uh, stuff from your camera or the gallery you can choose from. So that's pretty cool. You have also the emojis. Uh, just let me click on that. So you've got a bunch of new emojis here as well. I've showed them. Uh, in my previous video so if you're interested to see more about the emojis and uh, some of the cool features you've got as a bonus uh, pack in the 6.1 6.0.1 update of marshmallow you can go ahead and watch the video in our channel I won't concentrate too much on that uh, again you can type in and at some point it will tell you that you are Send, we will be sending two messages or three messages. The limit there, you can see the number is set to 60 in my case. I think in most cases that's what it is. So, yeah, that's the messaging option, uh, the messaging app. Uh, in more, you have quick responses. You can set those up. Ske you can schedule the message or you have message options. You can create a slideshow or you can add subjects. So that's something I think we've got before as well. So I'll go out of this and I'll show you the camera. The camera is quite cool. 
So obviously uh, a few features were there before, but now you have um, other stuff as well, other cool stuff. I'll go in the settings. Here is the stuff you get in the settings, the camera settings. You can have video stabilization, you can have the grid lines. I can turn on these. You can review pictures, you can sa save as raw file. You can read more about it here. Uh, and also you can reset the settings as well. So uh, what I really like here are the different modes. So here are the modes you get in the new update. You have Auto Pro, Select Focus, Panorama, Video Collage, Live Broadcast, show, Slow Motion and Fast Motion. Obviously when you go slow motion everything will be recorded like that and you can see all the, <laughs> all the dog hair on my floor. But sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. I want to show you the Pro Mode. In Pro Mode, here is the stuff you get. I don't know if you can... Uh, oops, sorry about this. I was a bit clumsy with my camera. So this is the stuff you get here. Yeah, you have plenty of functions. You can choose and switch between them as easy as that. You have um, ISO, you have... Uh, different modes, standard modes, you have filters here straight from the app, so that's quite cool, you, you can switch between them and you have different tones and you can set a uh, tone, I don't know if you can see that, you can set the tint, contrast, uh, pro yeah, you can see them better like that, so you have color, temperature, tint, contrast, saturation, highlight and shadow, so that's quite cool, you can set this up as much as you want so yeah that's that's pretty much it here is what you get on the top menu uh, and the different effects I want to show you these because it's quite cool that you can see them live while your camera is on and you can download more of these by pressing this button you go to yeah different tabs uh, up uh, and effects for your camera. So that's the camera. Let me know if you want me to show you more about uh, more about it and more in detail. So I'll go ahead and show you what's here in the this folder. I've gathered all the default um, things you get. That's that's S Voice. I haven't set it up yet. It started listening, but I don't I don't want to do that. So S Voice, obviously, you have to set it up with your own voice, and it will listen to you, uh, to your commands. I personally prefer OK Google, but you know, it's um it's your choice. Whatever you decide, you can use it. This is my calendar, so obviously you get details about the current day, uh, but also you have uh, this kind of view for the whole month, and you can switch between months like that. Uh, also, uh, you have um, different settings here. Um, you can have the forecast, you can have notification, uh, you can log the time zone, and this is the kind of a general setting. What do you want to see first day? How do you want to start with the default event? So that's what it is. You can create an event by pressing this uh, button here on the side. You have title. Uh, and you can set up stuff from here, you can have a note, you can invite people, you can set up time zone and repeat the event as well. So this was the planner, as health uh, familiar app to me. I have used it, it's counting my steps, I have used it before and I think it's pretty much the same as in 6.0 and 5.1 to be honest, as in Lollipop. You can measure your uh, SPO2, you can measure heart rate, stress levels and stuff like that and you can add items as well if you are interested in that. I think uh, everything is pretty much the same here. Internet, that's the default browser. I really prefer Chrome to be honest and uh, this is how it looks, uh, the default one. I I don't really mind it, but my all my settings are set and all my bookmarks are set to um, uh, synchronize with Chrome, so that's why I prefer using Chrome. But if you want me to show you how this um, uh, browser works, I can do that for you in a separate video. Otherwise, you have calculator. Calculator is the usual one. You have uh, all the necessary uh, set, you know, numbers and settings here. You can turn it around, and you have um, 
a lot more uh, functions in sinus, cosinus, tang tangents, logarithms, and all that kind of fancy stuff if you want to use them as well. So that's the calculator. You also have the clock where you have your alarm. You can set your alarm from here. You have the world clock and it's really cool. You can choose uh, cities from here and you can see what the time is there at the moment. You have your stopwatch. So that's, you know, it's not new. So this is how it works. And you have a simple timer. You can set it uh, to Oops, come on. Right, I have to set it, of course. Three hours and it will count down. So, yeah, that's timer. This is it, uh, pretty much. Let's see if there's something left. Yeah, contacts. I've showed you that before as part of uh, my overview of, um, of the phone app. Uh, here you have tips, add a profile feature to enjoy profile sharing and so on and so on. Just a second. Uh, and profile sharing will be updated automatically. So that's good to know. So if I go to edit profile, woo, that to be me. So yeah, you saw myself in, in that uh, <laughs> front facing camera and uh, the phone that I'm filming with, which is the Samsung Note 4. So yeah, guys, this is um, this is in really brief uh, description everything you get by default from Samsung in the new Android update. Let me know if you're interested uh, to show me uh, to show you more of these, or uh, if you want me to go into detail uh, about another program or another app. I mean, so yeah, this is it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please. Uh, press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with all the Android updates we'll be following very closely. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.